a staggering 3 million people decked out with bright rainbow colors are expected to cram the streets of Manhattan on Sunday for the World Pride March marking the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, the episode that occurred in Manhattan and is credited with giving rise to the modern LGBTQI plus movement. The Global Gay Pride celebration commemorates the June 28, 1969 riots sparked by repeated police raids on the Stonewall Inn in New York's Greenwich Village, which had become known as a well-known refuge for the gay community. What we now refer to as the Stonewall Riots proved to be a turning point in the LGBTQI plus community's struggle for civil rights. There are two marches planned with the main procession beginning at noon from 5th Avenue and 26th Street in Greenwich Village. I believe we are going to have the greatest pride celebration in the history of the globe, Mayor Bill de Blasio, a vocal defender of gay rights and a Democratic presidential hopeful, said on Friday night. New York's Gay Pride is a month of events commemorating the Stonewall Riots every year that has long been a lure for tourists, drawing hundreds of thousands of people, plus politicians and celebrities. In 1970, one year after the riots 50 years ago, New York held its first Gay Pride March, kicking off a tradition that would spread to other cities around the world. The movement remains necessary to this day, as some 70 countries still criminalize homosexuality. This year, organizers have gone all out as Manhattan has been selected to host World Pride with visitors from around the globe. The event comes against what critics say is Donald Trump's Republican administration opening the door once again to overt discrimination against the LGBTQ community. Some 150,000 people are signed up to walk in the main march, with 70 companies acting as sponsors. L'Oreal, Dannon and Macy's department stores are among the corporate participants, a sign of how more and more businesses want to be associated with the yearly procession. Organizers say they are expecting an estimated 3 million people. To line the streets and watch the march, which is scheduled to conclude with a big bash in Times Square. With so many people expected to watch the march, police plan to deploy thousands of officers on the streets and rooftops of the city and also use drones and helicopters to keep an eye on everything. One criticism of the heavily sponsored event, however, is the strict regulations that been placed on it. ANN Northrop, one organizer of the alternative event called the Queer Liberation March, wrote in an opinion piece published by NBC News in New York City, the parade now excludes individuals who want to join in spontaneously, a hallmark of the first marches which openly encouraged onlookers to join the throng. Today, you can no longer step off the sidewalk and into the street. Police barricades keep the parade free of anyone not appropriately badged and permitted. In addition to highlighting the fact that corporate sponsorship means little without meaningful everyday action, like being visibly supportive all year round. Hiring LGBTQI plus people and ensuring an equal workplace, Northrop wrote, we need to remember why we're fighting, 
because our fights are far from over. Trump has said he supports us, but his actions betray his true agenda, cancelling non-discrimination protections, appointing anti-LGBTQ judges, elevating the bigoted religious right wing. Governments around the world, like Iran and Saudi Arabia, threaten us with the death penalty. We are arrested, beaten up, killed and discriminated against in hundreds of ways from New York City to Alabama to Brazil and Chechnya. We need to keep empowering ourselves. We need to educate and activate new generations. We need to be back in the streets celebrating our victories, mourning our losses, committing to the ongoing battles, marching for our lives. That event will run along the original route taken in 1970, which was called the Christopher Street Liberation Day March, starting at the Stonewall Inn at 53 Christopher Street near the intersection of West 4th Street and 7th Avenue South. It will run up 6th Avenue and end on the Great Lawn of Central Park. It will hold a powerful rally with speakers and performers. No corporate floats, no squadron of uniformed police, nor throw.as for the official World Pride event. The finale will take place in the heart of Manhattan at Times Square and feature performances by artists including Madonna who is hugely popular in the gay community. Among those gathered outside the Stonewall in hours before the march on Sunday was lesbian activist Martha Shelley, one of the original marchers in New York's first gay liberation parade in 1970. Visitors from abroad who are planning to march include Helen Gollan, a 63-year-old Australian who helped found Sydney's first Mardi Gras gay march in 1978. It's about honoring all that went on before us and all those who died in the name of freedom, Gollan said. Francesco Cervalli, 38 who came from Italy with four friends to take part in the march, said, it's our history, it's the reason why we can be whoever we want to be. That's why it was important to come and celebrate. Sir Valley and others said gay pride is important for another reason, to muster strength to keep fighting for LGBTQI plus rights at a time when what they call extremist politicians, like Trump or Italy's interior minister Matteo Salvini and President Jair Bolsonaro in Brazil, have come to power. I feel like we are going backward, Sir Valley said, citing in particular violence against transgender people. But maybe it's history. Sometimes you need to go backward to continue going further. The idea may be to keep fighting, but over the years, gay pride has become a huge moneymaker, which is another factor that prompted the Queer Liberation March to hold its own event on Sunday. We march against the exploitation of our communities for profit and against corporate and state pinkwashing, as displayed in pride celebrations worldwide, including the Nick Pride Parade, a representative for the group said in a statement on the organization's website. The annual Pride Parade has become a bloated, Dover policed circuit party. Pride is not for sale. It's gone completely off tracks, Bill Dobbs, an organizer of the rival march, said.
He described the latter as an effort to keep with the spirit of Stonewall.